How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Yeehaw. So, la- <laughs> last time, we finished off case three with a very chilling end. Whoa. That's right, Mr. McGilded. It's Technically, we didn't actually solve the case, but it's heavily implied that he was the guilty party. Pretty implied. Oh, yeah. And also, we have an announcement to make. Uh, as of today... We may also, we're known as Novel House, but we're also going to be known as Uvel House. So, <laughs> as of today, we're changing the channel of, uh, name to Uvel House. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a running joke from the uh, R place thing on Reddit, if you <laughs> guys have seen that. Yeah, so also, if... Jay has another announcement to make. Oh, yeah. Well, or a quick shout out. Yeah, uh, really quick shout out to none other than Lip Bite, Peter the Piss Star. Um, I don't even know if I should explain it. I almost feel like I should just say shout out to Peter the Piss Star and leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are in the Discord, you'll understand. If you know, you know. Peter the Piss Star. But yeah, shout um, out to him. I guess I should also probably elaborate what that R place on Reddit thing is. Actually, yeah. you, sh you should probably do it because I'm bad at explaining that. Oh, okay. Um. Well, so today, uh, April 4th, 2022, yeah. uh, the end of an era has occurred. Um... So Reddit hosts this thing every five years called Our Place, and people on Reddit can make an account, and you get a pixel every five minutes, and you can go ahead and place it on a giant blank canvas. Um, and people just kind of spend all their time for, like, an allotted amount of time, so, like, a couple days spending, you know, these pixels and making images on this board. Uh, and we had a novel house space that was kind of kickstarted by a couple people in the server. Uh, I believe specifically Holly, Aiden, and Jojo. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they all got together and they were like, we're going to make a novel house part of the mm -hmm. our place. So they did. And they battled it out and kept it safe for multiple days, including other people in the server. And then today, when it was supposed to close, uh, everyone realized that when they were going to place pixels down, they could only place white pixels. And so the entire canvas just, like, fucking disappeared. <laughs> it quite literally got nuked. So that was the end yeah, of an era. Yeah, that was pretty sad. But it's actually pretty cool. If you guys look around on Twitter, there's actually some really popular, like, streamers and YouTubers that have posted screenshots. Yeah. On, like, you know, different social medias. You can actually find us. It's, like, in the towards the bottom left-hand side. Right. Next to the giant uh, Osu symbol. By the giant, and, like, underneath logo. the giant Osu symbol... And right next and to Sans. Sans Undertale and Nagito Kawaida. <laughs> so yeah, see if you guys can try and uh, spot that. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, but it was in a couple things. Like, Jacksepticeye had it on in the background, and we were kind of, like, just underneath yeah, the bit. Uh, we were in a couple giant streamer things. And someone made a Minecraft uh, map thing of our place on a canvas, and we are technically in that, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you look around, you can find us. Hopefully, if yeah, you look exciting. hard enough, you can find the Oval House version. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, sorry for the long introduction. But yeah, episode four. This is we're going to be delving into blind territory very soon. About halfway through the trial portion of this case, we'll be blind for Jay. I'm so freaking excited. Oh boy, it's been so long since I played this one. Mm -hmm. The Adventure of the Clouded Kokoro. I begin to think, Wilson, said Sholmes, turning his head languidly in my direction, that there is more to this case than that which we have observed. Indeed, that there may be another part to this story that we are yet to discover. His eyes wandered, following the steam rising from his cup of herbal tea, leading him to the distant memory of that snowy evening. To the young lady collapsed on the pavement along Briar Road, and to the knife in her back. Lit in the soft glow of gas lamps, a most extraordinary scene had been set. And under the cover of a light fog, the curtain had risen silently on the insoluble mystery of our invisible killer. Oh, snap. Oh, that's pretty spooky. 
Oh, we're back here. Oh boy. 19th February, 9.47 a.m. British Supreme Court, God damn it, Lord Chief Justice's office. <laughs> Luke, you fucking sucked at that. <laughs> I was trying my best. Did you sleep last night, Mr. Nadoro? No. Okay. No, not at all. <laughs> wow, Scrub Lord. It was an enormous hotel, wasn't it? The rooms were so luxurious. I felt like I was. I were. Whoops. I felt like we were staying were. in a pla in a palace. In a palace. <laughs> in a palace. And with all the gas lights twinkling, it was brighter than day, even in the middle of the night. What about the enormous beds? After my time on the SS Buddy, I wasn't going to wake us. Wake. Wow. I wasn't going to wake up ever. I wasn't yeah, going to fair. waste a single inch of that space. I spent the entire night rolling from one side of the mattress to the other. Oh yes. It really was the sort of night you can only dream of normally. Except... When I learned that we owed three pounds for the rooms, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. Yeah, well, why, why did you think sleeping in a giant luxurious hotel wasn't going to cost you a lot? Because I'm cute. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sorry about that. The building was so impressive and the entrance so inviting, I just wandered in without thinking. In a lodging house in Japan, that sum of money would put a roof over your head for a whole year. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't help my tears when we were presented with the bill. <laughs> yeah, now we're fucking poor. Uh, I really am sorry. Well, never mind. We must find some more affordable lodging straight away, though. Why don't we just sleep in the middle of the fucking hallway here? <laughs> <laughs> if we're not careful, our entire stipend will be used up in ten days or less. Male Strongheart's gonna show up and be like, What the hell are you fuckers doing? <laughs> he just comes over and kicks them. <sighs> London is a scary place. Ah, good morning to you at this early hour. No. Ah, ah Dickless. <laughs> oh, yes, what? Uh, we, uh, well. Oh my god, and she's here. Hello, Dickless. Good morning to you, Lord Chief Justice. We have come to report on the outcome of the trial at the Old Bailey yesterday. Didn't ask. <laughs> Susato-san is amazing. She doesn't bat an eyelid even in the presence of the opposing Lord Strongheart. I could body you. More like weak-willed. Okay. <laughs> you thought you were funny there. Yes, I indeed. Oh my god. <laughs> and in a word that didn't exist. I believe you had a very comprehensive initiation into British courtroom practices. Oh, yes. It was very, uh, eye-opening. Thank you. And, in accordance with your instructions, Lord Strongheart, Mr. Narada performed his duty to the end. <laughs> well, I didn't expect anything from it, actually. <laughs> yes, I've already been apprised of events. You conducted a remarkable defense. You may consider the test passed. Oh! No longer are you a student from the Empire of Japan. You may henceforth claim to be a fully-fledged lawyer. My country is delighted to welcome young talent from such remote eastern land. Uh, thank you very much. So, I'm a lawyer now. Now, in view of your new appointment, I have a fresh case in mind for you. I'd like you to take it on, on at once. Do it. I trust that <laughs> won't be a problem. Uh, well. Another case? Already? Nothing trains a lawyer better than practical experience. Also, in this universe, we take cases on a day's notice. <laughs> no time for investigating. I'm sure I don't sense satisfaction. Oh my god. Jesus. Dissatisfaction. Do I? Well, the way you said that, yeah. <laughs> it's just that yesterday's trial ended unusually. I haven't quite come to terms with it. What's to come to terms with? The man was cleared. What war were you hoping for? Were you hoping for a fucking medal? <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, a little bit? <laughs> the culpability defendant has not at the present time been established by this court. In other words, you fucking suck. <laughs> Let's all laugh at The him. jury will not be made required to pro offer judgment. These jurors suck ass. <laughs> well, Lord Van Seeks. <laughs> Must be tough having a tiny penis. <laughs> no, this for you, what? my dear fella. You are a bitch. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to commit another murder. <laughs> He's like, remember when this That's happened? That's my evil laugh. Whoa! Get in my mouth! <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is evil. I don't remember it happening like that. I just can't help wondering. 
It did. If Mr. McGilded really was innocent. Are you questioning me? Your eyes are so blue. Mr. Nadahodo! Oh. It's just that I never managed to ascertain the truth. And then the trial ended. I'll like... end you. Oh. <laughs> well, you didn't try let it trouble you for a second more. Oh. I'm sorry? <laughs> what do you mean, Lord Strongheart? I mean... Uh, give me yeah? a second. Oh my god. Magnus McGilded passed away, immediately following the trial. Hmm. No. What? M Mr. McGilded is... Dead? Thank god. That's what I said. Oh, the birds Look, are scared. the birds fly away. <laughs> Damn it. I have 19 minutes and 41 seconds until my next engagement. Time enough to talk. Whoops. So the beats hurry the hell up. <laughs> Why are we just staring yeah, at each uh, other? That's great, man. First. Look at my armband. Lord Strongheart, may I show you this? Pretty sure this is the same as last time. Yeah. Does it warrant 24 seconds of my fucking life? No. <laughs> And I'm assuming everything else in here is probably the same. Yeah, I think time. they are. Are you stupid or something? Oh, Over the top tombstone. Yeah, everything's made of marble. 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 Can you hurry up? No. I don't understand. What happened? How could he be dead? After the trial concluded yesterday, there was a great commotion in the old Bailey. And the reaper of the Bailey reaped his asshole and killed him. <laughs> Jeez. As you'll presumably recall, the omnibus had been wheeled into the courtroom. He just strolled inside. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> <a joke. laughs> yes, he thought course. it was a that bit. Was the scene of, that was the scene of the crime which Mr. McGilded had been accused of. Precisely. Well, while the bailiff's attention was diverted by some other matter, the omnibus went up in flames. No. Yes. How could such a thing have happened? I don't know. <laughs> that is being investigated as we speak. But already, the police have identified a corpse found inside the charred shell of a carriage as that of Mr. McGilded. That's awful. I thought it was pretty funny. The man <laughs> must have slipped aside while well, the bailiff's attention was elsewhere. The bailiff really needs to pay more attention. He's probably too busy finding a way to kill him. And how could that have happened? Do I look like a fucking miracle worker? <laughs> that is a being also being investigated as we speak. Anything else? Thinking back, no. Immediately after the trial, Mr. McGilded did mention going back into the courtroom to look at the omnibus. Well, that was a mistake. I'm going to go Ew. die. Well, I must make <laughs> tracks now. <laughs> it's time for the inspection. Give me your balls. No. Sorry, what is what? Oh, I actually meant give me the bus. I'm going to the bus. The omni balls. I asked if I could be present for me myself. I was also asked to give my hat a hat. My hat wants one. What? An inspection of the omnibus. I don't think you remember that flashback properly. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. I don't believe Scotland Yard had any intention of re-examining the carriage. But uh, then who was Mr. McGilda talking about? Your mom. <laughs> oh. Never mind that now. The Yard is making a thorough investigation. This matter is no longer any concern of yours. Leave it to the police. To the popo. <laughs> Poor Mr. McGilda. Poor Mr. McDonald. Old MacDonald. Big Mac. <laughs> so, how did you find your first taste of our country's Supreme Court? Horrible. Pretty supreme, isn't it? Oh, well, shit. I don't know. I mean, it was... Wow. I think he's lying to me. Shit literally lit on fire. Mr. Narada means the whole experience was steeped in the solemnity... Solemnity... Solemnity? Of Great Britain... <laughs> Of Great Britain's long history. It's really a world apart from our own judicial system in Japan, which is only a few short decades old. A world apart? We live on the same planet. Wow, Susato-san is such a way with words. And you seem to have a way of failing to find the right ones. Hey, why don't you get out of my brain, first of all? <laughs> you guys are weirdos. The judicial system here is the most advanced in the world. Learn all you can. No. The most advanced in the world, is it? Uh, yes. It was fortunate. That your very first trial was a simple affair. That was anything but simple. 
Simple? Oh. That was simple? As I believe I mentioned yesterday morning, it was a trial that you couldn't lose. Oh yeah, he does have a point. True. I don't mean to be uncon- Wait. I don't mean to be contrary, Lord Strongheart, but the case was anything but simple. You know what's crazy? I heard you the first time. <laughs> and I chose not to respond for a reason. The circumstances of the case were so incriminating, I was stunned when I first heard them. In fact, I'm still finding hard to believe that we managed to get a favorable verdict. He he he. Is something funny? Yes, you. No, no, my apologies. However, the fact is that you did receive the not guilty verdict you set out to achieve. <laughs> and that can only be attributed to exceptional talent, wouldn't you agree? Well, I, I don't know about that. Did you just disagree with me? <laughs> what do you know? Well, never mind. You exceeded my expectations, I freely admit. That much, at least, is an undeniable truth. Which is precisely why I've I prepared a new case for you that I had mentioned in the past, like 20 minutes ago. What's going on? What was he going to say before? And why was it so funny? <laughs> Could you perhaps give us some more details about the new case you mentioned? Don't tell me. It's a murder, and the trial starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing so alarming or quite so urgent as your last assignment. In fact, this case is completely different. Oh, I see. D did he just read my mind? That is to say, no one has died, as yet. I wish they did. The trial will not be today. There is plenty of time to research the case thoroughly. 23 hours, 43 minutes. And 19 seconds to be precise. <sighs> So the trial's tomorrow, then. Well, yeah, we needed to give you at least one investigation day. <laughs> Is everything all right? No. Oh, yes. I'm just a little confused, that's all. Yesterday's trial was... Well, it's left me wondering if I'm really cut out for being a lawyer. You aren't. Oh, Mr. Nadaro. I don't know if I could face standing in that courtroom again after Mr. McGilda's trial. Ah, oh, yes. I nearly forgot. There is one similarity with yesterday's case. There's people in it. Once again, there was currently no one to advocate for the defense. Oh! If the situation remains unchanged, the trial will start tomorrow with the defendant unrepresented. And if that happens, I need not remind you of the inevitable outcome. He fucking dies. <laughs> the most terrible end awaits the defendant. Yes, we burn him. We stuff him in the omnibus. Jesus. Yes, that's right. <sighs> Here we go again. Ah, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Your time is up. You'll have to excuse me. I would advise you to begin making preparations for tomorrow's trial. After all, the clock is ever ticking. Tick tock, bitch. <laughs> there is now about 23 hours, 26 minutes, and 39 seconds until the court sits. Last time you mentioned 23 hours, he said there was plenty of time. Well, now there's not. And one more thing. Mr. Nodohodo, there was something I should like to ask you. Oh, uh, what's that? Yesterday, you remarked upon something. That you intend to see through the will of your late compatriot, Mr. Osiri. He sucked. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would, be interested to, <laughs> I would be interested to hear exactly what you mean by that. I mean, he clearly did suck because he only lived to see one case. Be nice to him. Inside 34 seconds. Oh, well, uh, Cosmo always used to say, you see, that he wanted to learn how the greatest justice system in the world worked so he could change ours in Japan. Now that he's gone, I'd like to work towards that myself. And, uh, there's another thing. Oh. Another thing. Continue. On the way here, on the steamship, he said something to me. There's something very important that I have to do. <laughs> Make out with me. <laughs> Something very important, and what exactly would that be? He never had a chance to tell me. I suppose he would have done if he ever made it to Great Britain. We're out of time, you fucking suck. Well, thank you for your enlightening <laughs> discussion. Bye. Mr. Dandaholo, what's all this about? Bitch, I didn't tell you because you kept slamming me on the ground. <sighs> Mr. Osugi never once mentioned anything of the sort to me. Because you weren't his lover. Oh, well, excuse me. 
Shut the hell up. I urge you both to focus your attentions on the matter at hand, not your fucking love quarrel. <laughs> There's a man. Oh, over there. ew. I've taken the liberty of summoning the police inspector in charge ew. of the case. Not, it's not Inspector Shelby, but it, he'll do. He'll be able to apprise you of the Diddy Hood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the what? <laughs> the the, the, the Diddy Do. <laughs> <laughs> the Diddy Do. Take it away. The Diddly Do. How long has he been there? Some devil's asshole in a minute. <laughs> so I wish you the best of luck and bid you farewell. Get out of my office after you talk to him. <laughs> Get out of my office. Leaves his own office. What the Get fuck out of here, was that leaves. about? <laughs> There's something very important that I have to do. Kazuma-sama, what did you mean? I wish I knew, but honestly, you're I never not told Kazuma. Me. <laughs> anyway, we better talk to the detective, don't you oh think? Oh my god! He's strapped. Yes, you're right. His we stupid talk to bowler him soon. hat. Otherwise, we're gonna get a a bullet in the face. What? I hope I'm just imagining it, but I wouldn't say he looks pleased to see us at all. Yeah, he looks he like looks, he's gonna kill me. He looks like a fucking thumb, bro. You're built like a thumb. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't do anything else. No. Hey, are, no. Uh, are you a fellow male? Ha hello, ma ew. Why does he I'm sorry, eat it like you, that? Did you just ask me that? Uh, can we trouble you? What do you think? Uh. uh <laughs> lovely weather, isn't it? Fucker. We're What's inside. the weather got to do with anything? Uh. Listen to me, you young Japanese upstart. It's a frippery about the weather. Does it get every English gen eaten out of your hand, you know? Uh, but Susato-san told me it was foolproof. You tell me she lied? I'm a busy Bro. man. A very busy man. Those are crimes seem to investigate, but I'm here to get the likes of you a talking to. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Oh my god. Can you imagine what the other officers there will be saying? Hm? Haven't seen Gregson anywhere, have you? No, he's too busy with the big wigs these days. It's all because some bumpkin who's here on a jaunt from a country I've never even heard of. Bro, stop ripping Hear that, that shit. ripping sound? That's my reputation at the yard going to tatters. There's no need to rip us apart as well. I'm gonna rip apart your asshole. <laughs> I don't believe we've been introduced. See these fish and chips? They're your ass. <laughs> Why are they never ending? That's kind of gross. Because. Because why? I hunger all the time. Now finish your fucking line. <laughs> because I hunger. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. N eh. This is Mr. Mr. Yunosuke Narodo, the defense lawyer. Oh, defense. I thought it was the offense. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I'm Mr. Narodo's judicial assistant, Sue ah. Miley. Oh. It's lovely weather we're having today. Isn't it? This fuck had just tried the same thing. What? Oh wait, I forgot you're a woman. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should what? change my ways. And it's unreasonably, seasonally, fuck. Fine, I got you. <laughs> Winter winters don't see a lot of sunshine. Unbelievable! How did she pull that off? So, <clears throat> Lord Strongheart has asked me to fill you in on the case. My name's Tobias Gregson. Inspector Gregson, to you. I'm from Scotland Yard. Gregson? Um, Inspector Gregson? What's the matter with Sato-san? Does this detective's name mean something to her? Ah, uh, yes, maybe if you talk to me. Inspector, are you perhaps... THE Inspector Gregson? He's like the one and fucking only. <laughs> You're acting like you know this man, Mr. Sato, but he's a London detective. Oh, I do know him. Very well, in fact. Very well? Yes, oh. we're besties. He features prominently in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. Burn it. Oh, in that publication. What's it called again? Rance Ma Rancid Magazine? <laughs> That's right. Inspector Gregson and Mr. Sholmes enjoy a wonderful, friendly rivalry. Really? You rival the great Mr. Sholmes? That's incredible. Oh, ah, uh, well, I don't know about that. Mr. Sholmes isn't a professional like myself, of course, but he does come up with the goods from time to time. Mr. Sholmes is equally complimentary about you, Inspector, isn't he? You've earned his highest praise. Gregson is the pick of a, uh, what? A bad lot of all the Scotland Yarders. Those were his own words. That's his highest praise? Well, Mr. Sholmes isn't particularly known for giving compliments, you see. 
That is not, and thanks to that magazine, my name's been known all over the world, on a London town. <laughs> all over London you know? world. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Fucking no. <laughs> I have to admit, to start with, I was a little, well, flattered by all the attention. Everyone wanted to shake my hand, and my reputation at the yard went through the roof. Well, that's wonderful. No, it is not. There's nothing more sinister than the man on the street. People are always looking at me now. They're whispering rumors about me under their breath, I'm sure. Rumors? Are, are you- I definitely read that as the RR of it. <laughs> are, are you quite sure? Ada Ada, well. Ada Ada? He's changed since she started appearing in those stories. The fame's gone to his head. Stuff like that. I say fuck him. Gosh, do you really think people are saying such mean-spirited things about you? I mean, I think them all the time, but... Like I said, they whisper, so I can't catch exactly what they're saying. But I know what folk are like. You're a I'm sure that's what they're saying. I'm sure his eggs is eggs. What? <laughs> what? I get the feeling this detective could be a very hard work. This is why people bully you. Oh dear. Perhaps a sudden rise to fame does change people. Damn straight. So, uh, about the case that Lord's Chief Justice just mentioned before? Nothing to tell, really. As far as we're concerned about at the yard, it couldn't be simpler. Oh dear. That probably means... That as far as we're concerned as lawyers, it couldn't be more complicated. I wish you were wrong about that, but I have a nasty feeling you're right. A young woman was walking along the pavement on Briar Road, but she was stabbed from behind. Briar Road? Fortunately, it wasn't fatal, but she's still laid up in the hospital, unconscious. Hopefully she never wakes up. <laughs> That's despicable! Who the fuck would say something like that? <laughs> what Me. sort of coward would attack the poor woman from behind? Me. I suppose you would have finished You're whoever was jail. off of this Sato Tank Town, would you? That is neither here nor th there, <laughs> Mr. Nadahuro. No, it's here. Look at her Ask sassy pose. Nose, okay? You've angered her now. I love that pose. I can do that too. I'm doing it right now. Anyway, after some of a whirlwind investigation, the criminal was arrested. I barely had time for a couple tea. Couple tea? After the incident took place, to be couple honest. Couple tea? So, there must have been something left at the scene that lady directly to the culprit. <laughs> I like that he was going to take a bite and then stop. <laughs> for some reason, that animation was really good. Uh, thanks for cutting me off, dickhead. <laughs> or perhaps a reliable witness who recognized the person in question? Let me stop you right there. You're wasting <laughs> your time on this one. Sorry? Shut that up. There's nothing you can do. There's no way to help the bloke now. The bloke is fucked. Why ever not? Simple. Die. Prosecutor that's been assigned to the trial tomorrow is Pro Lord Barack Obama. Whoa! No! Barack, Barack Obama. Obama? Oh my god. Sounds like you've heard of him then. <laughs> have you heard of have you heard of this man? <laughs> oh yes, we are very familiar with Lord Barack Obama, Von Zeeks. Barack Obama. Believed to be the harbinger of death itself. Harbinger. Har Reaper of the baby. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Har harming, harming <laughs> the har, not har the har bringing slasher, the hash. Like Barack like... Zeke's, who we faced in court only yesterday. He also kind of sucked. Mr. McGilda told us about him before the trial, didn't he? I only lost because I was it was raped. Uh, or maybe you're just bad. Ron Zeke stands for the prosecution. They call us accused to sacrificial lambs. Yeah. Why is? In every single trial he's been in the prosec where he's been the prosecutor in any trial ever. The accused has been fucked. So true. Wow. This Reaper of the Bailey nickname. I suppose he's earned that because every defendant he advocates against is found guilty. Is that it? Not this one. <laughs> well, if that's the case, we should inform you, Inspector. That in yesterday's trial against Lord Von Zeeks. Mr. Narodo secured a verdict of not guilty. Cool. Okay. <sighs> and what of it? Oh, well, um, I think... That means that even against the Reaper of the Bailey, it's not impossible to save the defendant. No, you really don't have a clue, do you? What do you mean? 
Where do you keep What happened to that, that bloke? In my bottle. My <laughs> second bottle. And there, what? Uh, You're, hold dead. on, hold on, what? <laughs> I have two. I oh, hate it here. You do? What? Magnus McGilded came a cropper in that omnibus when it went up in flames. The flames warned him. So you can't rightly say uh, that you're safe to defend it, can you? I'm sorry, what did you use to describe his death? What are you saying? Two buttholes and vor. Mm. Look, if Von Zeke's could get the dart to stick on anyone, he'd be a miracle worker. Well, that's not how it goes. He doesn't work miracles, he works magic. Black magic. Like voodoo bullshit. I'd have a good long thing about that if I were you. Are we really supposed to believe that? I don't give a shit if you do or don't. Can I have some of your fish and chips, bro? No. <laughs> right. Well, I failed to win as requested, and I'm very nearly out of chips. What do you so mean? They're never the ending! Now. We're still carrying out a few investigations there. Stop breathing my air. It was Briar Road, you said, didn't you? Where the incident took place? That's correct, ma'am. And if you head over to the holding cells, you can meet the criminal himself. You branded him a criminal already? He's as good as shaking like a leaf in a cell he is. I'll give you a chuckle. It'll give you a chuckle if nothing else. <laughs> I'll give you a chuckle. He's on May 53. Speak to the jailer and I'll show you the way. We took his name away. <laughs> in May 53. Thank you. Yeah, you, know, you want to be in May 54? <laughs> yes, please. So there's no helping anyone against the Reaper of the Bailey, they say. Is something troubling you, Mr. Nanoto? Sorry, I was just debating if I should put you against the Reaper of the Bailey. Oh, I can totally take him. No, she can't. Yes, I can. To tell the truth, when I recall the trial yesterday, I can't stop my shelf. My shelf? <laughs> I'm shaking. Yeah, you're vibrating the whole damn office. The idea of facing the Reaper in the court again is... Funny. Funny. Well, if you think it's too much for you, there's no shame in turning the case down. That takes courage, too. Now nah, we're turning this case up. <laughs> but if the man they've arrested is innocent... Ah. You could well imagine it would be shaking like a leaf in a cell. I, for one, wouldn't find a sight of that funny. I would. So... I'm well aware. <laughs> if I'm honest, I still, I'm still reeling from the shock of yesterday's events myself. And I'm really not sure if I'll be able to help this man, whoever he is. But I'd like to try. So I think I'm going to make some inquiries. Will you help? Hmm, what's in it for me? Did you really think you had to ask? I'll let you live. <laughs> After all, I am your judicial assistant. Who branded that? Thank you. <laughs> so then, shall we? Yes, let's go. I love that pose too. Same. Prison. Prison. Prison? Wow, what a lovely prison. 19th February, my bedroom, local prison cell, nine, nine. <laughs> I was going to say 19, <laughs> but it's... Local prison it cell, nine. <laughs> so these are British prison cells. I feel like the chains on the wall are a little unnecessary. Because everything's know, already right? behind Mars. Very ancient prison cell. Oh, they're ghastly. It feels just like a dungeon. Ghastly? Like the Pokemon? Wow. Yes. And having experienced it in Japan myself, I can reassure you that our wooden cells feel a lot cozier than these cold stone walls. Oh, don't, Mr. Nadaro. Mean, uh, meaning? Mean. You're making it seem worse. Apparently, our client is in this cell here. But it's so dark at the back there, I can't make him out. I wonder what he's like. I'm at 53. Your balls are mine. Oh, I already why? talked to Gildens. Your legal representative is here to see you. Stop hiding at the back of the cell and show your face at once, you fuck. <laughs> am I? Am I a cat? And yet with no name? Calling me by a number is utterly, unbelievably, unjustly unreasonable. I refuse to answer. What the fuck? My second thought, you're guilty. I'm leaving. Mr. Nadoro, what? The fuck? What do you think is going on here? I have no idea. I wasn't just hearing things, was I? That tirade of complaints was in Japanese. Am I speaking Japanese? I don't know. 
Hello. Just guessing. Oh my god. Finally, another human being. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but... <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> oh. They're in the walls. They're all around, hiding. I know they are. They're watching, listening. Even now, I, I can sense it. <laughs> uh, right. So, could I ask you who would say- There you are! You come to curse me, haven't you? Don't try to hide it! You're a ghost! A ghost. Or, sorry, a ghost! <laughs> <laughs> um, this dude is super weird. We should <laughs> go. Oh. We mean you no harm, prisoner-san. Are you... Japanese, by any chance? The sparklers are turned my eyes. <laughs> this is... This is... Beyond my wildest dreams! I love him. He's so funny. I know. Forgive me for that outburst before. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. We were just a little surprised, that's all. Imagine it! It's been 12 long months since I left my hometown, and here I am, in a frightful fix in a foreign land. Frightful fix? So hearing the sweet, sentimental tones of a compatriot's voice here in this damp, dark hellhole was a, a... most monumentally moving moment! <laughs> Who could have guessed that this new client Lord Strongheart assigned to us would turn out to be a fellow Japanese? Oh, what compassion my fellow countrymen show! To dispatch a first-class lawyer all the way from Japan to defend a mere foreign student. Noble, nurturing, never failing, Nippon! A, a first-class lawyer? <laughs> Dude, I'm like fourth rate. <laughs> oh dear. I think there's been something of a misunderstanding here. I wonder, would you be so kind as to tell us what's happened? Yeah. Why you've been detained as a suspect, for example? I killed him. Oh. Yes. Yes, I can. I will. Shan't stay sullen and silent. Actually, please do. I'm not quite sure I understand what he means, but seems happy. Wait, he seems happy for. <laughs> yes, he does. I just hope he actually has a good reason to be. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm a lawyer, as you said. My name is Rinosuke Nanohara. Sounds fake. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fake, didn't ask. And I am Naruhodo san's judicial assistant, Susato Mikotoba. Why are you even talking to me? You, okay, fine, I'll fucking leave then. I was a student, sent here by our government. Not only, notoriously, name Natsume. Sosuke Natsume. Wrong. Leave. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Here's my arm. Yes, yes, <laughs> the symbol of one of our great empire's first-rate lawyers. Here's my arm. Which means, of course, you'll stand by my side. You'll defend me. Oh, no, sorry, that wasn't why I was showing it to you. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> then why else would you show me that? Oops. In hindsight, that probably wasn't the best idea. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsies. Damn. I didn't think I would be going this hard on his voice, but I'm having a lot of fun. He's so funny. Suski Natsume. Son. What an unusual name. Oh, fuck you. Call me Suski, please. <laughs> I'm a poet, you see. A writer of haiku. It's something of a non... a nom de plume. A nomdi plummy? You mean an alias? <laughs> a numi plumy? What the fuck did you just say to me? A nummy nummy? That's right, Narado san. Yeah. <laughs> no, no! Don't be so prosaic! It's much more refined than that! And haiku? That rem really reminds me of home. Did I hear you say that you were a visiting student sent over here by the government? Oh my god, do you have ears? Two, actually. Yes, yes. That's right. A year ago, I was told to go and study in English. First, I had to suffer that misery. And now this! It's beyond the pale! Suffer that misery? Did you not want to study here? No, it's full of British people! <laughs> no, I mean, I've had an interest in Great Britain for some years, of course. Oh. But! Just because the government tells you to do something, doesn't mean you can do it. No! So true. What do you mean? If they told me to study English literature, that I could have understood. That's my field. But no, they told me to study the English language. 
utterly, unbelievably, unjustly, unreasonable. Whoa. English fucking sucks. Oh my fucking god. I see. Only the other day, I was told to set a report about my first year here. I turned into a blank piece of paper. Wise words on white washi. So true. Hell yeah. Got him. Go off, king. He must be a man of great standing. Oh, yes. So I'm often told. You should sit down. And often like to be told, it seems. What did you just say to me, fuckface? Who are you talking to, me or fuckface? Both. Hmm. Could you perhaps tell us exactly why you've been arrested, Soski-san? Oh my god, did you even watch? Let me get my this mouth case. just made the weirdest fucking noise in the world, and I swear to god, if it got caught up in my mic, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh my god. So, I didn't do it. I didn't commit that atrocious murder. Murder? Oh, no, 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 it's all right. The woman didn't actually die, did she? I don't know. But she was stabbed with a knife right before my eyes. Before your eyes? You mean you saw the attacker? And wouldn't that be convenient? <laughs> I didn't see anyone. Of course what? not. If I'd see the person who did it, do you think I'd be locked up in here? Oh, dear. It seems this case is becoming rather complicated. Why me? Why me? Why did that silly woman have to be stabbed in front of me? It's the curse. The curse of London. It's... The curse of the nice guy. Incredibly, inexcusably, irritatingly inconvenient. I can hit here. <laughs> so Suski san was there at the scene, but he didn't see the attacker. Damn. It's vital that we find out more about the case. Oh my god. It was in a cursed evening, just after the snow had started to clear and heavy with fog. I'd been to the bookshop to buy some books, and I was on my the way back shack? to the cursed lodging. The book shack, yes. The book there was a fucker named So there, and he robbed me! Oh my god! Sure, the bookshop was in a curse, too. As I was walking along that accursed pavement, I could make out the sole silhouette of another ahead of me. A woman, wearing a green overcoat she was. And just as I went to overtake her, and slam her into the dirt... <laughs> she did it she herself! She did it for me! <laughs> she suddenly let out a little scream and it collapsed onto the cold hard slabs of the stone at my feet. I kicked her a little. <laughs> For fun. <laughs> How terrible! I called out to the woman, but she didn't move. It was like a... Ghostly, ghoulish, grim graveyard! Ghoulish. I said ghoulish. ghoulish. Slight exaggeration there, perhaps? I was terrified. I had to get away from there. So I ran, ran as fast as my legs could carry me back to my accursed lodgings. That's not good. Oh, they'll say it was shameful, I know, to run away like that. Tell me, sasuke -san, was the victim an acquaintance of yours? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think I know anything's fair haired English? And then you're woman at that. I'm diffident, shy, timid, unsure. I can't talk to people. I see. A young woman, unknown to Soski san Yeah, me too. I don't even know what a girl is. Me neither. And at the time it happened, who else did you see nearby? Did anybody else pass you? Regardably, apart from myself and the woman, I didn't see a soul. No one? Oh, great. So the victim was unknown to you, and there was nobody else on the street at the time? That creates something of a conundrum, doesn't it? Huh? What conundrum? A kanani? A kanani? What do you mean, Sato-san? What's the conundrum? Well, if what Sasuke-san has just told us is true, there's something I can't explain. He says that he didn't know the victim, and that there was no one else at the scene. Then he apparently fled without having been seen. I did, I did! But if that's the case, surely this man has to be the culprit. <laughs> Ugh, you! What did you just say? Nothing! I, I didn't say anything! How did you read my mind? <laughs> Oops, perhaps I thought that a little loudly. Oh my fucking god! Actually, that's not what was troubling me. Yeah, you are! <laughs> what I was thinking was, how did Suski san actually co come to be arrested? I was breathing the same air as her. Air as Herlock Sholmes. Yeah, that'll problem. do it. Sorry? 
He didn't touch the victim, and there was nobody at the scene to see him. So how did the police ever discover that he was there in the first place? Oh, yes, she's right. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> it... It was him. That accursed great detective. He led the police to me. Of all the bad luck. Accursed great detective? Could it be? I should never forget that name's... The name's man. <laughs> that man's name as long as I live. With his haughty laugh and his self-proclaimed greatness. Brash, big-headed, busybody, be gone. Bussy. Chow! <laughs> You've been cursed till the end of your days, Herlock Sholmes. I... I knew it. Damn right, baby, you did. That's me. Mr... Mr. Sholmes? I fucking hate that guy. I love that guy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I didn't expect to hear that name from this guy, man's lips, that's for sure. It was the morning after that nightmare had unfolded on the pavement before me. I was gnawing on a sliver of hard cheese when some men suddenly burst in through the door. They started shouting at me. This is the police. Put the weapon down. NYPD. Yes, it was a thin sliver. And yes, it was hard. But I wasn't eating a weapon. Disgusting dietary discrimination devils. You clearly had a trying morning yesterday. Yes, I literally did. <laughs> and there he was, in the middle of all the policemen, grinning like a Cheshire cat. That, Herlock Sholmes. It, it's actually just Herlock Sholmes. He's English. Did I ask? He's what? I've since found out that he's a famous name in detection here in London. Yes, the great detective is really very well known. And his overly sharp mind managed to deduce my whereabouts, apparently. He thinks I'm the knife-wielding madman! Me! This weak, stooped kitten of a man! I wonder what great deduction process led him to this conclusion this time. Do you mean to say... that Mr. Sholmes' deduction was the only reason the police arrested you? That would be really most unreasonable. I know, right? Huh. Well, uh, the thing is... I was... I was thrown into a panic when they barged their way in. Of course you were. That's only natural. I assaulted five officers. Okay, that's not... I was terrified and trembling. They kept throwing question after question at me. In impossible English. Fiendish, foreign, flim, flammery. Flim, flam, huh? I need to fart. <laughs> well, no. Well, we are in England. You can't really blame them for questioning you in English. I thought they were to start speaking like French or German or Russian or something. So Flams. I was very scared. Flance. <laughs> good point, good point. But my mind went blank. I knew I had to answer, but I didn't know what to say. So I just kept repeating things like, Yes, I do, and I'm fine. <laughs> the next thing I knew, I was in medicals. Before I knew it, I was thrown in here. Oh dear, I'm afraid <laughs> that's hardly surprising. I'm fine? He's not fine now. <laughs> so true, bestie. Mr. Nodohodo, Esquire. Oh, you can just call me Nodohodo. And when we're speaking English, a simple mister is more than enough. Oh, yes, um, all right. Yes, they've, they've really got to me. This country is poisoning my mind. But please, I beg you to defend me in court tomorrow. You can tell them what really happened. You'll do it, won't you? Please. No. Well, uh... No! <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it so hard to say yes to me? Well, the thing is, I'm just a student like yourself, on a study tour. Uh, a student? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I defended a case in the Old Bailey, only the one though, and he's dead. But at this moment in time, I really don't know what I'm supposed to believe in. I'm confused about what just justice in this country even means. You don't sound sure of yourself either. <laughs> oh, not all of that. I'm not even the foreign student who was supposed to be here. I'm a sort of local lawyer, I suppose. But, but that armed man, that's the mark of a defense lawyer from a great empire. It's a keepsake from a man who should have been here. He was my best friend. A, a keepsake? Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what they're saying about me. Oh, who do you mean? My mommy. <laughs> what? The lawyers, what? All the British defense lawyers. They won't defend me. Goodness! Why... why do you say that? Because I smell bad. 
For the same reason as you noted before, I'm a male. <laughs> when it happened, there was only the victim and myself around, and I ran away from the scene of the crime. I'm not a fool. I know it looks as though I must be the culprit. It must be very hard for you, Soski san. It is! And anyway, I'm a student from overseas. Just a foreign nobody to them. Someone not to be trusted. I heard them openly laughing about me before, in my earshot without any compunction at all. Any trial for this man would be a waste of time, they said. And of course, the foreigner did it. He even had the gall to say that the man doesn't understand half of what's being said anyway. That's awful. They're wrong. I study more English than half the policemen out there on the streets. I traveled halfway around the world to learn about these people's country and his great history. But no one here wants to listen to a man with a strange accent. They all hate me. So, at the very least, I'd like to entrust my fate to someone who can listen to me in my native tongue. You could do it, couldn't you? When I look into your eyes, I can see it. I can see what you've been through. Suski son, it's just that. <laughs> Give me a little time, please. Huh? I'll do what I can, for the time being. What do you mean? We shall investigate the case as thoroughly as possible. If we can find some clues, it will give us a much better chance, I'm sure. Oh yes, yes, thank you. I'll be here, all alone, waiting for you. Welcome student, Mr. Narahodo Esquire. We should be going then, Ms. Narahodo-san. We have a case to prepare for. Prepare for, fuck. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, Snizny snap. Aw, oh, snap. All right. Ooh. So, this looks like the perfect place to stop. So, next time on the Great Ace Attorney Adventures, we're gonna go back to Briar Road, start investigating, probably talk to the police, and maybe we'll pay Herlock Sholmes a visit. Oh, yeah. Hell That'll yeah. That'll be an interesting experience. So, as always, if you all enjoyed, want to show the series some support and keep it going, because YouTube, for some reason, does not like to promote our Ace Attorney videos that much. Which is a shame, but hey. If you guys want to share your support, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you all in the, yeah, next, in the episode. next episode.